When you were a kid, did you have a bully living in your neighborhood? Did they live on the same street as you? Fun times, right? What is the up? I'm Darcy Von Gool. I hope you got your cup of chaos, because I got another story for you. When I was about ten, this girl moved in a few houses down from mine. She was around my age, and I saw her riding her bike up and down my street. My dad told me I should try talking to her, but every time I tried, she'd speed up. Okay? I did eventually get around to meeting her. Whatever. She was understandably shy at first, which is why she sped past me. I'm going to call her Becky. Becky had moved in right next door to my other friend Tatiana, so the three of us hung out a lot. It seemed like the more we hung out, the meaner Becky was starting to get. She started out by always having some smart-ass remark to say to me. Becky never seemed to act this way towards Tatiana, at least not from what I saw. Becky's biggest issue with me was that I didn't act or dress like a normal girl. I was a tomboy. Rather than wearing makeup, skirts, dresses, all peeing and playing with dolls, I loved video games, skateboarding, and I always wore a raggedy old hoodie band shirts and baggy jeans, and I wasn't too fond of the color pink. I mean, I'm still not, but whatever. I'm more open now to dress somewhat more feminine, or at least, you know, wear women's clothing, still with the same style, but whatever. Back then, Becky for some reason had a bug up her ass about me not being a girly girl. One day, while we were all hanging out at Tatiana's house, Becky decided that she had had enough of me at not acting like a girl. She went on about how me being a tomboy wasn't normal and that I had to start acting like a girl. She made it seem like I couldn't be friends with them unless I changed and that I had to let them train me to be a girly girl. I sort of just froze at first. My heart started pounding as I took in everything Becky had said. I not so very discreetly took out my phone and played a ringtone to make it seem like my dad was calling me and pretended to have a conversation with him. And then I told Becky and Tatiana that my dad wanted me home. Becky called me out for faking that phone call, but I ignored her and ran home. I felt so hurt. The only friends I had at the time didn't accept me for who I was, and I and wanted to s desperately change me. I broke down in front of my dad and told him what had just happened, then locked myself in my room. About five or ten minutes later, Becky and Tatiana knocked on my front door. I just sat there in my room as I listened to my dad tell them how much they had hurt my feelings and what they had did was wrong. He told them that they owed me an apology. I still wanted to be friends with them, so I went outside. Becky and Tatiana apologized, and we hung out for a little while before we all went home since it was late anyways. Tatiana didn't really do anything wrong. This was all Becky's idea after all. For the most part, Tatiana just stayed out of all the drama as much as she could. Things were back to normal between all three of us for like a week. Becky started being mean to me again. She had a younger cousin that had the same name as me. And one day, Darcy 2.0 came over and immediately started talking shit to me. She got right up in my face and started screaming at me while Becky stood by and laughed. Like, I had never even met this chick before, but Becky convinced her bitchy little cousin to harass me. Anytime I tried saying something back, she'd get louder. She was calling me every name in the book, and then would follow up with, What are you gonna do about it? You can't do anything just because you're bigger than me. Or at least something along those lines. She even bitch at me for having the same name as her. Like, okay, I'm older than you, I had the name first. <laughs> I stormed out of there and went home. And Becky and I had stopped being friends after that.
Tatiana and I were still friends, but I wanted nothing to do with Becky anymore. She'd name call me every time I walked past her house. I'd usually just say nothing and flip her off. That didn't really do me any good. Becky and her mom only lived in the house for, I think, less than a year before moving away, and I never really saw her again. Unfortunately, Tatiana moved away too, but her and I are still friends. Now we sort of just look back on these events and laugh about it. Hey, don't ever change yourself just to please others. Or let anyone tell you how to live your life. Just be yourself as long as you're happy with who you are and you're not hurting anyone. Who gives a fuck what others think? If you're someone like Becky, please go get help. It's not okay to treat others like that. Unless someone is being a horrible person, or a criminal, then leave them be. Just be kind to others. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want. And like always, be weird, my friends. Later! Sorry that my voice is a little messed up. Um, I'm feeling a little stuffy. Again, thank you for watching.